Uh, obviously, we're disappointed, but a, you know, great, um, great college basketball game. I thought had a lot of excitement, a lot of runs in it. Uh, uh, you know, I was real happy with the, um, you know, our intensity, especially in our effort level um, coming out of the gate. Um, thought we were moving great. It's one of the best uh, things, you know, offensively. I thought we started the game off. We were moving really good without the ball and so forth. And defensively, I thought we were a little locked in. We got a little, a little trouble there with Nyla and Gabby picking up uh, uh, and Misha picking up uh, two fouls there in the first half. But I really thought we did a good job of weathering the storm there. Um, down six, and then the second half, you know, was just a back and forth game. I thought they made, uh, you know, some incredible shots, uh, especially the Washington kid, number one, um, hit two big threes, um, you know, and, uh, you know, but defensively, I thought we were good. Offensively, I really liked the way we were, we were moving. Uh, Drexel's the number one team in the country in terms of team defense. Um, I thought we got good looks, um, and I thought we executed well. I was real happy, uh, um, you know, with, with our effort and energy, and we got to, you know, we got to build on this. I, you know, I was disappointed Friday night in our rebounding, and uh, I thought we turned the corner there uh, um, today. Uh, with, uh, I think we believe we won the rebounding margin, but uh, um, we just got to keep getting better. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, turnovers are, are you know, are okay if they're not live ball turnovers. Um, and, and when those turnovers actually happen, and, and I thought that they happened at critical times, uh, um, you know, a couple of them happened in the open floor. Um, and, and that's what we talked about in the locker room. We just felt, uh, you know, shot selection, who was shooting, where they were shooting from at certain times. And then also, you know, key, key turnovers, uh, you know, down the stretch. Uh, uh, that's how Drexel plays, though. Drexel plays a real ball control. I mean, they're some of their best, uh, their defense is their offense, where you see them controlling the, controlling the tempo of the game. Um, but, yeah, turnovers were, was a big key and, and shot selection at certain times. And um, we played a little bit too fast at times offensively, and I think that led to some turnovers as well. Well, you know, she's a great player. I mean, she's one of the top three players in, in the conference, I think, and she can score in a variety of different ways. I think she had 15 at the half, if I'm correct, and she had nine in the second half. And those nine that she scored in the second half, I thought were pretty tough, except for that one uh, um, exchange uh, with, uh, with two of our players that gave her, I, I believe, an open three. Um, but I thought Nyla and Vic really did a, a, did a good job of, of battling her. And, uh, you know, it's, it, she's just, I got a lot of respect for her. She's just a terrific, terrific player. Uh, it means a lot, um, and especially means a lot to have all my teammates trust as well. They're constantly telling me like things I need to correct throughout, just like patting me in the butt when I need to pick it up. But I mean, it means a lot to have both my team and my coaches behind me and everything. Well, she almost didn't play 40 minutes. She was begging to come out of the game in that in that second quarter uh, a little bit, but I told her the timeout was her rest. Um, so, uh, no, you know, it's great to see Eva uh, uh, maturing. You know, I think, you know, the biggest part of her game, I think I talked about in the pregame show, is her, her mental toughness of being able to weather adversity, to be able to weather, um, you know, a bad defensive performance maybe by her or coach. Um, getting on her by, you know, one of the assistants, not me, um, getting on her, uh, you know, by a mistake. But it's great to see her really growing. And, we, you know, she's everything that we thought she was when we, when we recruited her. So, uh, um, you know, she's just scratching the surface, I think, of what her potential really is. You know, I'm excited. I'm so excited about this team. We're four and five. We don't want to be four and five. Um, that's what our record is. I thought we've lost some, uh, uh, you know, tough games, and uh, um, you know, we've proven we can win on the road. We got to go do that next weekend. Um, you know, I'm happy with, with this team. Has just got to keep maturing and keep getting better. We got to learn. Drexel was picked preseason two, um, and uh, we've got to continue to get better and continue to build. 
learn from these experiences. So when March comes, I mean, I felt today was like a CAA, you know, tournament game. And, and, and now we, we're, we're there. We got to figure out how to fix. We know what we have to fix. You know what I mean? Now it's about the ability of getting back in the gym and, and making those changes.